Hi, Rache. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. I'm going to show you what I was talking about with regards to creating bills from work orders when there are multiple bills. So you can see here, this is the bill that we created for, or work order we created for over at Pinecrest and what we need to do over there. He has three receipts. They're all three different receipts that he's uploaded right here. And then he's entered the amounts here. So I need to make three separate bills for each of these receipts because he charged them at different times. Okay, so we're going to go up here to create a bill. I've already done one, so I'm going to do the second one. It's to Home Depot. Now, this is what I meant. It pulls them all three up right here with the amounts, and you can see I've already created one bill right here. So you have to do these individually. So I'm creating the second one. So we're going to pull it out of the supplies. It's the job jam casing. I'm going to correct his spelling. And then this one is for $16.95. I had to go check that. And that is that bill. But see how it's pulling this one in? So for the next one, I got to delete that because I need one entry, one bill for $16.95. That's it. And it's this receipt right here. That's how I attach it. Since I've already created one, you're going to see the error I get. And there it is. You've already created one bill. Are you sure you want to create another one? Yes, I am. If you hit save and close, it'll create an invoice, not a bill. And you can't pay an invoice. You need a bill. So you want to hit continue. Then I'm going to show you the glitch I was telling you about earlier on the remarks. See the job description here and the vendor instructions? All of those are on my bill, which is going to show up on the owner's statement. So you want to go to the bill you just created. I'm going to right click it and open it in a new window because I still have work to do on this work order. So I don't want to close it out. So now I'm going to go get the bill that I just created and see this remarks. This is going to show on the owner's statement and everything about this bill, which I don't like. So I'm going to edit it. The other thing is this is a charge account, so I'm not going to see this bill until next month. I don't want to withhold that amount for this month when I pay the owners. So I'm going to go ahead and post this for next month. Any date, doesn't matter. I just want it into January. And then see this right here? All of that is that remark section, which I don't want. So I'm just going to change it to something that can go on the owner's statement. There we go. That's it. And then I'm going to click Save. I know I'm putting this for next month, so that's okay. And you can see this audit window, it's here on most screens. So anybody, I think with presidential access, will be able to see that I changed that remark section. So that's kind of nice once you get a lot of people in here to see what everybody's doing. So that's how you create the bill, another bill. So for example, let's say that he had actually used a debit card for that over at ACE. So I would want to pay that bill now by an other payment. And I would want to create it and pay it by debit or credit card to get it on there for today. And then I usually just put his payment reference like Venn debit card or David debit card or something like that. So I know that it was a debit card used, but I am not going to do that because I don't want to pay it right now. Okay. Hopefully that will help you. <laughs>